Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Talisha Burton and this is Fortified Roses. Today we recently got our new budget planner from Planning to Prosper. So we are going to set that up. So stay tuned. Hello everyone. So I decided to switch over to a screen recording just so you guys can see everything better, more easier, um, no glares and things like that. Um, so what we're going to do is go over my index. So I typed all these in um, versus using the scripts that are given um, just so that my font that I'm using to like write matches just throughout the uh, budget planner. Um, uh, so what we have right now, I'm using a laser. <laughs> we have the 52 week challenge. We have the financial goals. We have annual budget, annual sinking funds, see income tracker, sorry, debt tracker, medical tracker, medical expense tracker, car maintenance log, mileage log, memberships and subscriptions, which I would probably add to this one as I get them. Um, I mean, I have some now, but I know like I'll probably get more memberships or subscriptions. Um, so I'll probably add to this as time goes. Gift guide, yearly financial overview. Um, it took me a minute to realize yearly financial overview should be at the end. Because it's like, as, in, uh, as it's going, so like how much I made in January, February, and so on, versus having at the beginning like it's uh, my annual budget of what I'm expecting to make. And that's kind of how I was viewing it because I didn't realize the difference at the time. But what we're going to start with is our, no, oh, it's our 52 week challenge. I do have the um, Plain to Prosper's new budget planner and I have the inserts for this particular planner. Um, so the planners do come with neutral inserts, um, some updated inserts, um, I mean, added interest to them as the neutral ones which I have as well but then um, she came out with the inserts that match the the vibe of the um, planner which I was like I want that <laughs> especially for like my just my index pages um, and then I do have the New Year's Eve inserts as well but I would use that for the month of January versus using it in this spread which I was initially going to do but when she came out with this I was like that would be better um, well, to me, it'd be better. For me, it it's better. <laughs> so we're just going to bring over the 52-week challenge page. Oh, and see, like, my cover? My, hold on, let me show you guys. Let me, let me, uh, let me go on to do that. And then I'm going to do this. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Let's, uh, do that. And then what we're going to do, this, and then. This is literally the, my cover page, which is the top color to that insert, which is so funny to me because I didn't realize that that was just like one of my more, uh, one of the other options I had because I already had used, um, eight other 10, um, cover pages for other planners before I got the budget planner. So I, I had a choice between this, this, uh, particular one are, um, the more dotted one which I didn't I'm like well, I mean it's nice I just it wasn't for me <laughs> it was not for me okay so we already started on our 52 week challenge so we're about to be in week two I believe I need to get a calendar that like shows the weeks but I believe like the first or third was week one or the first and second was week one and week two is like the third on if that makes sense I mean for me I start on Monday so my first day of the week I mean my day of the week is the first to the third in a sense because for me, it ends on Sunday. So, yeah. So, today is like take my last day of the week. <laughs> um, so, there's that. So, we're just going to also insert line paper.
Okay, so I am done with setting it up. So we're just gonna click for <laughs> the 52 week challenge. Um, and we have our 52 week challenge savings goal all set up. Um, there we go. <laughs> all set up. And then we have lined paper on each page. And then swiping over, we have our financial goals, our short-term goals, which are one year or less, our medium, middle of the road goals, which are five years or less, our long-term goals, which are five years plus. Um, so, and then we'll line paper as well. Um, I put, I packed those, I had to put line paper on each page, which I did last year too, if you've seen that setup, um, just to be able to note as I'm going, just certain things. If I really like this one, if I don't, what I can do better when organizing certain areas and so on and so on. So whatever I need to do, whatever brain up I need, need to put right here. And then of course you have the option, oops, the option to like add a page. So I can always just add a blank page or, uh, We'll add this current template, right? Because we want it to match. Um, and then add more line pages if needed, right? But it would go towards things like this, which is what annual budget. So come over to annual budget. So we have our annual budget, which really looks like the monthly budget. Um, and I chose the spread because it's just easier to me to break down my income, my fixed expenses, my variable expenses, and so on. Okay. And then, of course, line paper for the same thing. Just really take notes. That's really what each line paper is for to take notes. So our next one is our annual sinking fund. And this looks like a monthly sinking fund too. <clears throat> Cause monthly sinking funds look, well no, actually monthly sinking funds are a little bit more detailed. But um, for the annual one, it's like the category, the um, annual amount that I want to save. And then the monthly amount of what I want to save to reach the annual amount and the notes. And of course I have a much bigger note section <laughs> uh, for each, each um, well, for each page, but anyways. So we also have our income tracker. And what our income tracker is just, I... Now, of course, I can do this each month. Um, but I decided to put it in my yearly or annual section because I just want to see it all in one one um, thing, right? Um, now, I probably will, will remove the no section and like do this and add another current template and on the, t the second page would be like two line paper pages because this might go over into the second page like that's honestly the goal is for this to be like two three pages long right um just from income and everything that i'm trying to plan for this year right so just having income flowing in from different places so that will be encouraging <laughs> but even just from this one page would be encouraging to be honest but, um, so there's that. And then we have my debt tracker. Um, so here, what I want to do is, as I, I don't want to really list all my debts here. I want to list them as I have paid them off fully, if that makes sense. I will list all the names of my debts here and what their balances are, um, as far as when I write it here. So there'll be a date of when I write all my debts and their balances in the date I, the date of that right but here like if i have to pay i don't have to pay bank of america i think like 13 dollars so i'll put bank of america here beginning balance how much i paid how much went to interest and then the any balance which i want to be zero so there's that um so it'll kind of just be like that um and then i will which i probably should do now So I use this page for that and it goes towards this. Oops. And so it's gonna to go towards this. So when I pay off stuff, I'm gonna come over here and write write what it was and then pay it off. You probably have like, like little script stickers and things like that too. I don't know. But we'll see. So that's kind of planned for here. And then we're going to come over to our medical expense tracker. Um now again I am on SSI, so I get Medi-Cal and Medicare. Um which entails a lot because of my disease. But this is four times where I didn't realize that because we went from being homeless to having a place, I had to go to member services myself and updated versus having my doctors do it because 
I, maybe they just didn't know either that I was actually supposed to go to memory services and update myself. So because of that, updating my um, whereabouts, they had ended my the plan I had with them. Now I still have my Medicare and Medicaid, but they ended the plan that tied my Kaiser to it. Um, so I was looking where when I was going <laughs> and getting prescriptions and blood draw and, and doctor like in office doctor visits, which aren't often, especially if I'm not like doing super bad. Um, luckily I didn't have any hospital stays because that would have been real bad. Um, cause I know like one, one, even a couple of hours could be like a thousand and something, if not more. So I'm just like, mm, thank goodness. But I want to be able to track that here. So I do have my, that Ota Kaiser. Uh, it's about 500 and something, um, which is mainly from being <laughs> blood being drawn, to be honest. Um, so I want to come and track that here. So I want to write the date. The, the it says individual, and then the cost. I'm mean, just going to put Kaiser because they all lumped it together. So I'm going to put date, the um, Kaiser cost, and then the description of what I was paying, or I don't know. Uh, but yeah, so that's pretty much what I'm going to do here. So that's uh, what this is going to be for. And then over here will be noted. Maybe a little bit more additional information or whatever it needs to be. And then we have car maintenance log. I probably should have these la this later on. Because you guys can't see my hands. <laughs> um, so for car maintenance log, we have the date, vehicle, mileage, cost, description. Um, so again, yeah, this is where I'm just going to um, car log my um maintenance um for my vehicle so every time i'm getting maintenance what was the mileage of that maintenance um and then over here i will be a little bit more detail and i'll probably add another notes page after this too but a little bit more detailed of like figure the oil change what day was that oil change and when i have to go back if that makes sense and all the things like i'll figure it out as i go for what i need and things like that like i know like there's a belt that I, I guess that's what a mileage is for, right? But I want to just be more detailed over here. Like, I really want to take better care of my vehicle. Like, I used to take care of my, like, the first and second vehicle I had. And this is, like, um, in a sense, like, actually having it in my name, the my third vehicle. I've had other vehicles in between, but those were more so, like, rentals or through Uber or Lyft and things like that. They weren't, like, mine, you know? So... Um, here, this is like my third regret is mine, but I haven't been taking as good care of it. So I'm going to do much better in taking care of it. So that's what this is going to be for. And then we have the mallet log. Um, here I will check, like, the date, like, so I didn't do it for the first or the second. Did I go anywhere on the first? Yes. I didn't track my, I didn't track it on the first. I didn't, um, put what my mileage started at, what it ended at, the total miles I've driven, and you know where I was going like I I really want to get better at that and I know this is this thing is gonna go over two pages so this is gonna be much longer <laughs> um for sure uh, but I want to get better at doing that even if it's just like not even that long of a trip I still want to get better at doing that so that's what this is for well I'm getting this one now we have members memberships and subscriptions so what I like about this is that it has the due date of when this particular thing is due it has the description of what it is, so pretty much what it is. The annual cost and then what it costs a month. What I like about this is that I am going to try to start off with my annual ones. Or either I will put my annual ones down here and work my way up, right? And then start off with my monthly ones and work my way down. So I'm going to do that because I want to keep them separate. So it's easier to keep them separate if I'm not having to go back and forth, back and you know? So the due dates look better as well. Now granted, this is digital, so it is... Um, fairly easy just to lasso and move but if I set myself up I won't have to lasso and move so much if that makes sense um I will try to order them in their particular due dates as well so that I can see it but that's just what the section is for for memberships and subscriptions and those good things so we have gift guide with gift guide we have uh name event gift budget now actual um, now, you, again, you can do this monthly. I did cho chosen not to do it monthly. Um, where it has name, I will put that for the person's name. An event would just honestly be like that person, like either it's going to say birthday or it's birthday and have the date next to it. Um, or anniversary or whatever it is, right? With the date next to it. So I know what date, uh, what date of the year that was. Um, even if it's a holiday. So this list has to go the 
lined paper has to be taken off and another gift guide here and then of course again adding another page to create line pages if that has to happen then it will happen if it doesn't have to happen then that's fine and then of course the line pages is for note taking to see you know like what i could do better what i um what i could do better what i should have done better things i shouldn't have done <laughs> period um and things like that so um that's just pretty much how this section is going i'm gonna go and then last but not least i think that's oh oh yeah that was last <laughs> There we go. Oh, okay. Okay. No. Okay. Okay, so yeah, last but not least, <laughs> um, we have the yearly financial overview. So as the year is going, I'm gonna come here and total up what my incomes are, right? Then for that month and then at the end of the year we're total what that ending year amount was that's all of my expenses all the money i get including from disability and then here we'll total up all the expenses for the i mean put for each month right as we go and then here again total so the bottom line is totals and then we have giving um i don't mind giving um honestly actually i probably should have put that extra page <laughs> um because i also want to put a section for um, income that is in result to my business. Um, well, I'll probably do that like once I actually start getting my tours, like just my business. Um, and then, okay, this section will be for giving. This will be for total debt paid. If you don't have a debt tracker, here will be for total debt paid for that particular month. The tracker is to track um, as I'm paying off debt. This is to say what I paid in debt for that month alone. Here is to say what I saved for that month alone, and then my credit score in that month. Now, I don't know if I'm going to do beginning credit score. My likes would just have to do beginning credit score, ending credit score for each month so I can see. Or I might just do that for January because if January ends with a certain score, it's going to pretty much start that score for February and so on. So January would be probably the only split one that says what my score was at the beginning, what it was what it is at the end and so on or I would write the beginning credit score here and then at the end of each month write the ending credit score and then put more notes and all that good stuff right okay guys so that is going to be the end to my um budget planner setup um as far as my indexes are concerned and installing my inserts and all that good stuff the next video that i'm going to do is going to be doing my annual budget so stay tuned for that video and i will catch you guys later don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye